Melbourne was the fastest growing city in the world in the early 1850s. It was a place jumping out of its skin. You did things 10 times bigger than they were done elsewhere. They borrowed big, they lived big, they built big. I grew up in Essendon and I could walk to three cinemas. You've got suburbs that have five and six theatres, and some of these were masterpieces. There are cinemas that we think of as being spectacular, like the Regent Theatre and the Plaza. And you'd have an orchestra. It would have been an incredible time to go to the movies. So in the lead up to the Olympic Games, when we were inviting the world in, there was a lot of discomfort. Melburnians as a whole suffered from cultural cringe. Melbourne wanted above all to be a modern city. And being modern meant having modern buildings. Television was the single biggest threat to theatres. Some beautiful theatres were just completely demolished. There was not much of a preservation movement at all. It was just vandalism. They were huge and lavish enterprises. Grand cafes with dining rooms, especially for women. Buildings with every gorgeous fixture and bit of master craftsmanship you could ask for. But Melbourne is so very close to absolute annihilation. It is so very nearly dull beyond belief. And these guys were just, they were acrobats. They were like a live acrobat show. They didn't realise the love that Melbourne had for the region. The Regent Theatre really was that line in the sand. And opposition to demolition of old buildings just went like this. We've got our devastating losses, but wow, we've got buildings that we fought for, we championed, and they survive. There's enough there to make us feel that we still inhabit a city that is recognisably marvellous Melbourne.